Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the February Bambox Horror Box. Um, always excited for the horror. I'm always excited for the regular box, but I'm even more excited for the horror box because I'm way more into horror films than I am usually the other nerdy properties that you get in the regular box, but they're both really good boxes. Um, one thing to let you know um, right off the top, the last horror box, I had an issue where I got just the regular pin that they sent me for that one. It was the Walking Dead pin, and I, uh, even though they put a, um, a one-up card in there, so I sent them an email or a message through Facebook. They answer things that way. And was just kind of like, hey, I think it's kind of screwed up. They asked me to send a picture of everything that was in the box to verify. And they were like, yeah, sorry about that. And they sent the rarer pin out for me. So this is the out of 250 that they sent me um, from The Walking Dead zombie. I don't know if it's supposed to be any particular zombie because I actually don't watch The Walking Dead. But it looks really good. I'm excited to add this to my cork board of fan box pins. So... Thank you, good customer service, which, you know, I've had some subscription boxes in the past with terrible customer service. So it's always very refreshing when you have an issue and they take care of it. And they take care of it in a satisfactory way. So let's get into this one. I only, I think I'm only remembering like one or two properties for this one. I think just one, actually, the which I think they already said was the autograph. But I'm not going to tell you what that is, because I want it to be a surprise for everyone. So, tissue paper for my cat, because she needs it. She had been running out of fresh tissue paper. Thank you. So, I think this is a prop replica? It's a weird item. Okay, this must have been from, I think My Bloody Valentine was one of the ones for February, which makes sense because February and, oh, is this supposed to come open? I don't, oh, mine's damaged. You see the way they put it on there? Damaged it. They just kind of like jammed it on. It got messed up. All right. So that kind of sucks, but it's all right. It's not that big of a deal. So basically, this is from My Bloody Valentine. It's, you know, with the front on it, it's like a box of heart chocolates. But then there's an actual heart in it, like from the movie. Um, this is a fun prop replica. I like that they did this. It's very fun. Highly displayable, I would say. And this is really cool for just people who are fans of um, horror stuff. Oh, this is like a, the heart is like a stress, one of those like stress ball things. You can see it's, it's just, um, yeah, I can push it down. So this is not like expensive or anything. It's relatively cheap, but for doing, for doing it cheaply, they did it smart. Like it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. So I'm down with that. It's all right. Did I get a one up? I did get a one up. I got a one up for this one. I got a one up in my other one. Now, I don't know if that's a spoiler, but go check out my other unboxing. Oh no, there's no pin in this one. Oh no. If you didn't see the regular unboxing, I was really unhappy because there was no pin. Because I love pins. I look for the pins. Um, and they didn't say anything about not including the pins. Hmm. I don't know if I like this. I hope this is just like a one month ordeal. And then in March, they're going to have the pins back. Ugh, that worries me if they don't bring them back because that's like my favorite thing hands down favorite thing is the pin all right so i did get a piece of art from um artist is lv bart is the person and it is oh that's nice artwork so it's a picture of captain spaulding if people don't know who captain spaulding is go watch house of a thousand corpses and he was also in Devil's Rejects. And I think they're making another movie in that series. And by they, I mean Rob Zombie. So this is number 352 out of 1500. Looks like a cartoony Captain Spaulding. It's pretty on point. It looks good. I like it. Good art print. They pretty much always have good art prints. I can probably count on my hands the, the number of times I didn't like the art print. Not many. So I got another art print. That's what my one-up must be. And this is by James Bozema or Bozema. 
Oh, that's cool. I got number 181 out of 250. So this one is rare, rare. This isn't an out of 500. This is out of 250. That is awesome. This is this looks really good too. So from the new it, it's Georgie. And if you can see, he has the red balloons as his eyes. It's in black and white. That looks really good. That's very cool. And I already have, I already got a piece of artwork from them uh, that was um, it, the new it. And then I had also gotten the expansion pack, so I have two other it things. So I'll just put this on the wall in my basement with the other it things. So just add to that. That's cool. I like that. That's nice. And then the last item, because there's no pin, sad, uh, is an autograph. An autograph, mm, this is a spoiler, okay, real quick, spoiler. An autograph from the exact same person that they got an autograph from for the regular BAM box. I don't like that. Because for people like me who get both boxes, I don't want two autographs of the same person. This is kind of lazy, I think. Or at, at the least what you should do with this situation is wait and put it in another box some months down the line. I don't like this. Uh, but anyway, it's Laura Vandervoort who played Anna in the Jigsaw movie. I did not see the new Jigsaw movie. I've seen all the other Saw movies. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to seeing Jigsaw. I will. Uh, probably not really going to like it a whole lot because, as, you, as most people probably know with that series, diminishing returns. Significantly diminishing returns. But... Uh, the picture looks good. The autograph looks nice. I just have a problem with them putting the same person in both boxes. Because I kind of feel like there's there might be a decent amount of people who get both boxes. And you don't want the same autograph. Um, but of the two autographs, uh, this one's way, 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 way better than the one got in the original box. Uh, I might actually put this one up. I won't put up the other one. I'll try and get rid of that. But... You know, uh, let's take a look at what there was. Um, oh, there were three different versions of the autograph, which actually I was going to say, I think I may have gotten the least interesting one, but they all, they all seem to look good for the most part. As you can see, like her with the pig head on, her with the shotgun there, sawed off, and then the one we got, or I got... Those are cool. They look good. Uh, there was a variant of the Captain Spaulding piece of artwork where he has like gasoline and fried chicken. That's actually pretty funny. I like that. They're both really good, but that's even funnier. Uh, the, yeah, the My Bloody Valentine prop replica that we already talked about. Uh, there were two different versions of the Georgie print, so the most rare one. They look the same, except the rare one that I ended up with was black and white versus the color. Now, this is the thing, is like, you know, usually I kind of like the color one more. In this instance, I actually do think I like the black and white one more, but a lot of times they'll do this where it's like the color one is the normal one, and then the black and white version is the, the rare one. And a lot of times I'll be like, I kind of like the color one more. But in this instance, I actually do like the black and white one more. And then the giveaway, ooh, that, that would have been cool. They were doing a giveaway for a Tobin Bell signed handsaw inscribed with the Jigsaw name and Tobin Bell's autograph, which is cool. Tobin Bell, um, obviously, if, if people don't know, that's shame on you, you should know. Tobin Bell was the, played um, Jigsaw in the Saw movies, the original series of Saw movies. And I don't know if he shows up in the new movie Jigsaw, but... Obviously, I'll find out because I will see the movie eventually. Um, met him in person. He's a really nice guy. Got his autograph. Very happy to have that. Um, really good good dude. Overall, with this box, um, autograph was... If I'm, look, if I'm not taking into account the fact that I got the other box, so say I didn't get the, nor the normal box, I'd be fine with this autograph. I'd be like, okay... I don't love it right now, may never love it depending on what I think of the Jigsaw movie, but 
It's from a horror movie. That's fine. Someone will like it. Um, got the rare art print, which looks really good, and it's cool. The Captain Spaulding art print is really well done and cool. And for being like a cheaper thing, the uh, My Bloody Valentine prop is interesting. And um, I think they did a good job with making it look good, even though it is cheap. Um, so overall, I like it. It's good. Uh, just my biggest gripe, where's the pin, man? Bring the pins back. Um, honestly, just get rid of the prop replicas altogether and keep the pin. And let's keep doing this stuff. Because actually, I can't figure out, were they giving everyone one-ups then? Because it kind of seems like there's a value drop if they're just not doing the pin. Because there was a one-up for me, which means, oh, well, oh, okay. I think, as you see, I'm talking and then something, a light went off in my head. So I guess everybody got each of the art prints. Which is cool. I mean, that does make sense. If you're not going to do the pin, uh, everyone gets one of the art prints. Makes sense. That is cool. Um, so I, I just got this because of the Georgie one. I got the rare. Okay. That makes sense. But I'd rather just get one art print and get that pin. Because I love your pins, Bam. You guys do such an amazing job with pins. I've seen pins in other boxes. And they never, ever, ever compare to what you guys are doing. So... Please put the pins back. Hoping for March. Um, not going to show you guys the properties on the other side because um, it's the, just a teaser for the March box because some people might not want to know. If you do want to know, go to the Facebook page for Bambox. They post it up there so you can see the spoilers. Uh, it doesn't tell you exactly what the things will be, but it tells you what movies they're going to be from. And there is one thing in particular I'm very excited about on this uh, all, all of them should be good, but very excited about one of them. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Thank you, Bambox, for doing what you do because you guys seldom have problems. You seldom make mistakes. Um, and your boxes are always at least solid. And this one's good. I like it. So until next time, everybody, keep it brutal.